Hi, this is Ryan from More Than a Teacher, and today we're going to be talking about combination problems. Pretty frequently on the test, you're going to run across things that ask you how many ways you can do something, or how many ways you can arrange things. And uh, to kind of quickly get through that, you want to use what we call the DASH method. Um, in this case, I've got five letters, and if they ask me just a pretty straightforward question, how many ways can I arrange these five letters? The answer that most people jump to is 25. And uh, there are actually quite a few more than that. Um, and the way that you'll figure it out is you're going to draw a blank for each decision that you need to make. So in this case, I'm arranging five letters. So I have to choose a letter to go first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Once I've got that done, all I need to do is fill in the number of options that I have for each of these choices. So for the first letter, I can pick any of these five letters. So I've got five different options for it. Let's say I picked C. For the next letter, I've already used C, so now I've got to pick between the four that are left. So I've got four options for that. Let's say I picked A this time. Now I've got three remaining, and then two, and then one. So uh, when you get finished filling this in, you'll always multiply these values, and it turns out that there are 120 different ways that you can arrange those five values. This also works if things get a little bit more complicated. Uh, maybe they give you an exception and they say, how many ways can you arrange this so the letter C would always come first? Well, I'm still arranging five letters, so I've got my five uh, decisions to make. But for my first uh, letter, it has to be C. So I don't really have a choice. I've only got one option. I've used up C this time. So I've got four, uh, four letters left. So let's say I picked A again. And then uh, only three remaining now. And then two, and then one. Once again, you multiply that out, and you end up with uh, 24 there. One of the uh, most complicated things that they will ever uh, ask you about is um, to, do, to have multiple exceptions. So uh, they'll ask you, how many ways can you arrange these so that C is never first or last? As long as you handle your exceptions uh, the same way, then uh, it's pretty easy to do. If C can't be first, there are four options for it. So I picked A at that time. If I skip to the end, I've only got three possible values for the last letter because it couldn't be uh, C as well. And then these three in the middle could be anything. So I've got three, and then two, and then finally my last one. Multiply that out, and uh, you'll get 72. This works on any problem where they ask you, you know, how many different outfits with a shirt, a jacket, and a pair of pants somebody can make, or any time they ask you how many ways uh, you can do something. 